Each arrow represents either a beam of protons, neutrons, or electrons when passed through these two positively and negatively charged plates. These two plates create an electric field, which will cause the protons, neutrons, and electrons to behave in two ways, namely being deflected in different directions and with different angles. Let's first take a look at the direction that protons will be deflected when passed through the electric field. Since protons are positively charged, it will be attracted to the negatively charged plate and repelled by the positively charged plate. Hence, the beam of protons will be deflected towards the negatively charged plate and away from the positively charged plate. For neutrons, since they are neutral, meaning they are neither positively or negatively charged, they will not be attracted to or repelled by both the plates. Hence, the beam of neutrons will not be affected by the electric field and will just travel in a straight line. For electrons, since they are negatively charged, the beam of electrons will be deflected towards the positively charged plate as they will be attracted by it and repelled away by the negatively charged plate. But now comes the question, how do we know what is the angle of deflection for the protons and electrons? To answer this, we must first learn that the angle of deflection is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge to mass ratio of the particle. The larger the charge of the particle, the stronger the attraction towards the oppositely charged plate, hence there will be a greater angle of deflection. Conversely, the larger the mass of the particle, the heavier it is, so the more difficult it is to deviate towards the oppositely charged plate, hence the smaller the angle of deflection. And when we play around with these two factors, we can then determine the angle of deflection. For neutrons, since they are neutral, they won't be deflected in any way to begin with. Thus, there is no angle of deflection for neutrons. But for protons and electrons, let's examine their charge to mass ratio. For the charge part, we ignore the positive or negative sign because we only care about the value or magnitude of the charge. Both of them have the same charge magnitude of 1. For their mass, since the relative mass of proton is 1, while the relative mass of electrons is much lighter at 1 over 1840, electrons will be deflected with a larger angle since they are much lighter compared to protons. To sum up, the direction of deflection depends on the charge of the particles, whether it will be attracted to or repelled by the plates, and the angle of deflection depends on the magnitude of the charge to mass ratio of the particle. Let's take a look at this question. Feel free to pause the video right now to digest the question. For part A, the charge is plus 1, and the relative mass is 2, so the magnitude of the charge to mass ratio is 1 over 2. And since we learned that the angle of deflection is directly proportional to the charge to mass ratio, when the charge to mass ratio is halved, the angle of deflection will also be halved. So, the angle of deflection will be 5 degrees. For part B, the charge is 2 minus while the relative mass is 18. So the magnitude of the charge to mass ratio is 2 over 18, which is also 1 over 9 after you simplify it. Take note that we do not care about the sign and we just want the value or the number. Hence, the angle of deflection will be 1 over 9 times of 10, which will give you 1.1 degrees when rounded off to one decimal place. What about part C? Are you able to calculate the angle of deflection? The magnitude of the charge to mass ratio is 2 over 9. Hence, the angle of deflection will be 10 times 2 over 9, which is 2.2 degrees, rounded off to one decimal place. Let's take a look at one more question. Again, feel free to pause the video right now to read the question carefully. So you may be wondering, Hey, how, 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 how to even start, ah? Well, if you don't know where to start, always go back to what the question wants because ultimately, nothing else actually matters if you don't answer the question, right? In this case, what would be the angle of deflection for a sample of doubly charged strontium ions? So what we can do is to organize all the information given in the question into a table, just like what we saw in the previous question, like this where we have a column about the charge to mass ratio and another one for the angle of deflection. So whenever you see questions like this, I would actually highly recommend that you draw this method 
as it is very organized and it will save you lots of time and almost 100% guarantees your marks. So let's fill in the blanks. The question told us that the angle of deflection of gadolinium is 2 degrees and the magnitude of the charge to mass ratio is 1 over 157. The question has also told us that the strontium ions are doubly charged, so the magnitude of the charge is 2. For the mass of strontium, we need to go to the periodic table to locate strontium, which is right here in group 2. So which number do you choose? The top one or the bottom one? What we want is the mass number, right? So we choose the bottom one. Or when you're not sure, always check against the key of the periodic table right here. Right? Don't gong gong go and choose the atomic number and then later ask, hey, how come wrong? Ah? With that, the charge to mass ratio is 2 over 87.6, which we can rewrite as 5 over 219 after you simplify it. And as we have learned, the angle of deflection is directly proportional to the charge to mass ratio. So, when the charge to mass ratio is multiplied by a certain value, the angle of deflection will also be multiplied by the same value. Now I know it looks pretty complicated because there are two big fractions here, right? But it all boils down to simple mathematics. So to find out what this value is, we can rewrite this in a more linear form and find this unknown value by dividing 5 over 219 with 1 over 157, which will give you 785 over 219. Hence, the angle of deflection for strontium ions will be 2 multiplied by 785 over 219, which will give you 7.2 degrees corrected to one decimal place.